Let's talk again about horizontal lines, vertical lines, and slope. All right. Here I have a horizontal line. This is y equals 3. That's the equation for it. And I have a vertical line, x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x equals 5. Right. On the horizontal line, if I want to calculate its slope, right, go from one point to the next, our change in y it hasn't gone up, it hasn't gone down traveling in this direction or in the other direction for that matter. So it's change in y is zero. And it's change in x, well from this point to this point is a positive three, or it could be a negative three, or I could have picked any two points, it could be hundred, three fourths, whatever. All sorts of different changes in x could be chosen, but no matter what I choose as my change in x, no matter how far apart these points are, how close together they are, the change in y, how far the line goes up or down, is always going to be zero because it's horizontal. It's flat. It doesn't rise. It doesn't fall. So the change in y over change in x is always going to be zero over whatever change in x I choose, which is always going to be zero. So it has no rise, it has no fall, it doesn't go up or down at all, slope is always zero. On the other hand, for the line here, if I pick two points, say I'm going up, my change in y is 1, 2, 3, right? In this particular case, and my change in x, well that's zero. Change in x is how far left or right do we move? Well, if we're going straight up or straight down, our, our left-right movement is going to be zero, always zero. It doesn't move to the left, doesn't move to the right, just straight up or down. There's no change in x, so change in x is zero. So the slope of this line, y change in x over change in y, is going to be some sort of change in y up down. It will always be different. It might be you know, negative, could be positive, could be a big number, a little number. All depends on how far apart or close together. I make these two points, but our change in x will always be the same, will always be zero. Now problem here, and you can take your calculator out, try punching in different numbers divided by zero, you always get undefined, or your calculator might just give you some sort of an error message, because division by zero isn't allowed, it's just a mathematical no-no. So this line, we would say, has an undefined slope, or we might also say that it just doesn't have a slope at all, no slope. So the horizontal line, it has a slope. Its slope is zero. It's the number zero, right? No rise, no fall, um, no um, vertical change, zero slope. So that it has a slope. It's just that its slope is zero. All right, so I can use that in equations. I can plug that into equations. It's an actual number. Here, however, if I'm dealing with a vertical line, its slope is undefined, or it just doesn't have a slope. So if I wanted to sort of write an equation of this, say, in point-slope form, I can't do it because I can't plug in an undefined slope into a, that point-slope form equation. I can always plug in a zero, so I could write the equation of this line. It'd be y equals mx minus h plus k, y equals zero, x minus, let's see, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, we'll choose this point, 7, 3, plus 3, well, 0 times anything is uh, going to be, I'm going to distribute this, the x and all just disappears, this whole term, and I'm just end up with y equals 3. And if I choose this point over here, the same thing will happen, I would just end up with y equals 3. I can plug that 0 in, but up here, the vertical line, it just doesn't have a slope. I can't plug undefined into the point slope equation and get some sort of number that makes sense there, equation that makes sense. The difference between a vertical line and an undefined slope and a horizontal line and a zero slope. Right? The horizontal line has a slope, but it's zero. The vertical line doesn't have a slope at all, undefined.